Hello, Parish family. I just wanted to give a bit of an update now that we're here in the beautiful month of May. It's the Easter season. Uh, you know, it's just so great to have uh, such a beautiful Holy Week and, and uh, Triduum and just Divine Mercy Sunday. And then we had the crowning of Mary at the beginning of May at the 9 a.m. Mass on May 1st and just just lots of good things going on. We, we wrapped up the beautiful Alpha program that we had and uh, just, and yeah, so just lots of good things happening where just the restrictions are lifted and so it's just uh, just a lot more uh, possibilities for us as a parish now. And so I just wanted to give a few updates. Um, one would be initially with the financial updates. Uh, first of all, we're, uh, you know, as we look to, you know, how we did in April, we, we met our targets, thank the Lord. Um, but one of the reasons for that was because that included our Easter collection. Now, one of the things, though, is that we usually, uh, you get quite a bit more for the Easter collection than we did this particular year. It was enough to kind of help us have a stronger April. But um, if you just wanted to say that if you haven't had a chance to give extra donations for Easter this year and you'd like to, um, hey, it's still the Easter season, so so go for it. <laughs> um, and to those of you who did give extra this Easter, thank you so much. It, it really does help uh, our annual budget go well. Um, the first quarter report uh, has not yet been posted, but uh, but I think it finally is being posted this weekend. So please feel free to check that out if you want to check out the numbers from uh, January through March. Um, but just to let you know that we're we're doing okay. One of the goals that we have is to commit three thousand a year, uh, sorry, a month, uh, you know, throughout the year to uh, keep adding to our capital expenses. And so if any of you when you're giving, uh, want to know where it's going, just know that it's going to all the operational expenses, but also it's going towards capital. So, we, so instead of having a separate capital collection uh, throughout the year, uh, just know that whatever you're giving, we're promising to give you know 3000 a month towards the capital so that every year we can at least make sure there's $36,000 know, going towards that, that goal. You know, so we can, through the years, have enough to, for all the bigger expenses that may come up. So, uh, you know, and for those of you who are giving as well through uh, electronic fund transfer or otherwise sort of known as like monthly withdrawals. Um, that's been going really well. As you know, we're striving to get more and more on that. We, I think, started with about 12000 or so uh, dollars a month. Now we're up to $14,000 a month, you know, so that's great. So, that's, so thank you for responding to that. Um, so yeah, so just, you know, uh, I just want to bless you and thank you for your generosity to the parish. Um, and if you're willing to uh, to give a little bit more than what you're already giving at a more, at a more regular pace, then that uh, that would be much appreciated as we strive to to keep moving forward as a parish. Uh, or if you're willing to keep continuing to give what you are giving, thank you for that. And if you're not yet giving uh, regularly to the parish, if you'd be willing to consider that, that'd be much appreciated. I think the more we can pool our resources together and really uh, we can just really keep things going well with the, seeing our vision move forward in the parish. One of the main uh, steps that we're taking to, to keep the vision moving forward is by having uh, two new hires. So we put a job postings for a manager position and a discipleship evangelization uh, position. And so we've received some applications for that. And so now we're in the process of screening the applications and going to be booking some interviews. And, and God willing, we'll, we'll, God will provide for us two great people to really... Uh, see, you know, help us to move the vision forward. But of course, that's going to require um, some help in the, in the finances to, to make sure we can support those, that, that staff. Um, and also, more than financial support, just if you would please keep that in your prayers, it'd be great to uh, just have your prayer support that God will put the right people in our path to, to help keep us moving forward in our vision. I also would like to just mention that uh, May is a special month in Canada because we have our March for Life. And this Thursday, May 12th, is uh, when we're doing it this year on the uh, Parliament Hill. And so it'd be great to have you there as we can stand for life. Father Marcus and I will be there. And, uh, and if you're not able to make it, if you could at least uh, promise to pray for us uh, or for all those who will be there. There's going to, I think, be a lot of extra protesters this year, especially in light of the news in the United States with uh, Roe versus Wade. I think there's a lot of people who are um, really wanting to uh, protest the pro-life movement. And so the, they're going to be probably there in great numbers this Thursday. So we want to outnumber them with uh, our pro-life message and, and standing for the culture of life. And so if you're able to come, that's great. Yeah, and just um, finally, I'd like to mention just uh, that if um, 
those of you who are mothers out there, I wanted to give you a special blessing as we as the Mother's Day weekend. May God bless you and in your vocation as mothers and uh, just fill you with the love and the wisdom and the grace that you need to be able to provide uh, the nurturing and the grace for your families and to uh, just have that sense of, of fruitfulness and just the, the blessing of God in your hearts. And for any of you women out there who are uh, hoping to be moms but are maybe uh, not successful yet in conceiving and just, and just may God give you special graces and blessings to, to have the joy of being a mother. Uh, for all of you who are mothers in, in different ways through the way you nurtured the people around you and uh, you know, just, just I said blessings to all of you in a special way today. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.